Greetings, Satnam. I'm Rasta Kari. Welcome to Rasta Kundalini Yoga. Today, I want to do with you Kriyas to release inner anger. Kriyas to release inner anger is very powerful because not only do you get to let out your aggressions while doing these Kriyas, but it also helps you to release stuck emotions that sometimes we are not aware of and sometimes this can come out in negative behavior or even sickness and diseases. See? Alright, so let's get ready. Sit comfortable. Lift the rib cage up. Roll back the shoulder blades. Open the heart. Bring the hands on top of the knees. Suck the belly button in. Lengthen the spine. Lift your crown to the heavens. Close your eyes. Deep. Breathe in. Deep into the diaphragm. In and out. Through the nostrils. Use this moment to connect to your higher self, to affirm yourself positively. Make clear your intentions before you start your Kundalini practice. Very good. Let's open the eyes slowly. Now let's begin with Ang Namor, Guru Dev Namor. This means I bow to the divine within. It also helps you to connect yourself to the golden chain of teachers. So bring the hands together. We're going to repeat this mantra three times. Bring the hands to the heart center. Press the thumbs and the sternum. Inhale, exhale, inhale to begin. Exhale, bring the hands down to the knees, palms facing up. Relax for a few seconds.
Very good. Now let's begin with some pranayama. These pranayama exercises cleanses the lungs and the entire respiratory system. So the first pranayama we're going to do is called the five part breathing. So lift the hands up to the navel, about three feet apart, fingers slightly spread. Inhale in, in through the nostrils in five part. Exhale out in five part through the mouth with a rounded lips. Moving the hands accordingly. All right, let's do this for one and a half minutes. Sit comfortable. Keep the spine elongated. Let's go. And inhale, hold the breath, lengthen the spine, exhale, and relax, bring the hands down to the knees, palms facing up, relax completely. Very good. Let's have a little sip. All right. Let's continue. Let's do the neck rolls. In the neck area is where most of the, st the stresses in the body is accumulated. Inhale up, lift the chin up to the sky. Exhale down, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale up. Exhale down, go at your own pace. center. Inhale, turn the chin to the left. Exhale, turn the chin to the right. Inhale, left. Exhale, right. Very good. Back to the center. Now let's bend the neck to the left. Left ear to left shoulder. Inhale. Exhale to the center. Inhale, right ear to right shoulder. Exhale to the center. Continue. Very good. Back to the center. Now let's do some circles. First, clockwise. Rotating the neck. 
360 degrees on the half circle inhale and the next half exhale anti-clockwise let's mix it up a little little clockwise with little anti-clockwise very good back to the center exhale and relax completely Let's continue with some eye exercises now. Um, keep the neck and the head still. Keep the hands and the knees. If you, if you have a glasses on, please remove it for, for this um, eye exercise. Um, keep the head and the neck still. Bring the eyes upward, downward, up, down. Very good. Now from left to right. Very nice. Upper left diagonal. Down right corner. Doing great guys. Very good. Let's do the opposite side. Upper right. Down left. These exercises help to keep the muscles of the eyes lubricated and flexible. Very nice. Now let's do some circles. First, clockwise, rotating the eyes from corner to corner, 360 degrees. Anti-clockwise. Very good. Now let's rub the palms together. Bring all your healing energies to the center of the palms. Now that the palms are nice and warm, let's place the center of the palms. Close the eyes, over the eyes. Take a few deep inhalation and exhalation right here. Feel the healing effects of the palms. Healing energy is radiating through the palms into the eyes. Very good. Keeping the eyes closed, pulling the fingers away from the eyes, coming down on the neck, on the chest, and the belly, all the way to the knees. Palms facing up. Relax for a few more seconds with the eyes closed. Now let's open the eyes slowly and let's sit in the staff pose. Everyone, extend the feet out to the front. Bring the hands beside the buttocks. By the side, fingers pointing to the front, palms facing down on the floor. 
Rock the legs to and fro. Very nice. Now let's bring a block underneath the calf area. And let's flex the ankles. Very nice. Let's twinkle the toes. Let's rotate the ankles first clockwise. Anti clockwise. Very nice. Let's flex the ankles. Very good. Exhale, extend the feet down. Very nice. All right. So now, let's get into the Kundalini. Before we get into the Kundalini, I would like to explain a few little things. The most common breath technique using kundalini yoga it's called breath of fire or fire breath i just want to give a little demonstration before we go into the kundalini class so we have a proper understanding of what's happening all right so let me give a little demonstration of what breath of fire is could everyone bring their hands to the diaphragm rest the hands on the diaphragm Inhale in through the nostrils while expanding the diaphragm. Powerful exhalation, pulling back the navel point to the spine. So it's like this. Very good. Now we're going to add a little speed to it. Very nice. So that's better fire. All right, so. Now that we explain what breath of fire is, um, let's get into the first asana from this set of prayers. The first asana we're going to do, it's called shoulder rocks. So let's bring the hands on top of the knees, palms facing down. Inhale, lift the shoulders up to the ears. Exhale, let the shoulders fall back down again. So inhale up. Then let the shoulders fall effortlessly. Down, exhale. Very nice. So let's do shoulder rocks for one and a half minutes. Sit comfortable. Let's go. Breath of fire. Inhale, exhale only through the nostrils. Let's go. guys to end lift the shoulders up to the ears hold the breath for five seconds lengthen the spine 
Very good. Exhale and relax completely. Palms facing up. Let's have a little sip, keep ourselves hydrated. All right. Let's continue. Now let's fold the thumbs inside of the fist. We're gonna do backward circles over the crown of the head with a breath of fire. Very good. Inhalation and exhalation happening only through the nostrils. Let's go. Hands down to the knees, palms facing up, relax completely. Very good. The next asana we're going to do is called the Eagle Pose. This asana also strengthens your electromagnetic fields. It also cleans the aura around you. It helps to make you healthy and happy as well. Gives endless possibilities. Alright, let's fold the four fingers inside of the palms. Stick the thumbs up to the sky, extend the arms out to the side, up to 60 degrees. Very nice. Now with a breath of fire for one and a half minutes, let's go.
and lift both hands up over the head, thumbs touching. Inhale, hold the breath for five seconds, lengthen the spine. Very nice. Exhale, bring the hands down to the knees, palms facing up, and relax completely. Nice. Let's have our next little sip. In Kundalini Yoga, most of the emphasis are placed on the breath. Deep inhalation, powerful exhalation. Try to be aware of what's happening in your body. Try to challenge yourself, but honor the body. Know your limitations. All right. Let's continue with the next asana. The next asana we're going to do, it's a spinal flex. They say according to the flexibility of the spine, let it feel how young you really are. So the flexibility of the spine determines how old you really feel, you know. It doesn't matter the age. All right, so bring the hands on top of the knees, palms facing down. Inhale, forward, lift the chest up, lift the chin up to the sky. Exhale, arch the back, bring the chin to the chest. Inhale, lift the chest, lift the chin to the sky, open the heart. Exhale, round the spine, bring the chin to the chest. Very nice. So let's do this with breath of fire for one minute. Let's go. Continue guys, doing great. Inhale, open the chest, lift the chin, hold the breath for five seconds. Exhale, back to the center. Bring the hands, palms facing up and relax completely. Very good. All right, let's continue. The next asana we're going to do, very beneficial for the thyroid, thyroid glands that is located under the neck area. 
also very good for people that use their vocals a lot, like singers, artists, or entertainers. Okay, so let's extend the arms out to the front. Bring the four fingers of the right hand on top of the left hand, the thumb of the right hand under the palm of the left hand. Very good. Bring the hands down. So exhale down, inhale up, in through the in and out through the nostrils with a breath of fire. Exhale down, inhale up, raise the hands up to 60 degrees. Exhale down, inhale up. Very nice. So let's go with a breath of fire. Sit comfortable. Let's go. Continue, few more seconds to go. To end, lift the hands up to 60 degrees, hold the breath, lengthen the spine. Very nice. Exhale down the hands to the knees, palms facing up, relax completely. Very good. All right. So let's continue with the final asana from this set of prayers for releasing inner anger. The next asana that we're going to do also helps to release inner anger by focusing more on the key and the, the liver, the organs that store anger. So this asana helps to, helps to cool the liver. So what we're going to do is bring the, the left hand to the heart center and use the right hand to form a peace sign. So form a peace sign with the right hand. Now let's extend the right, the right hand up to 60 degrees. Very good. Now what we're going to do, inhale in and out through the mouth, through the mouth with a rounded lips. So round, 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 make round the lips. Very nice. Yes. Now deep and slow breathing, deep into the diaphragm, like this. Slow breathing deep into the diaphragm. So let's do that for one and a half minutes. Let's go. The 
can keep the eyes closed. And inhale, fold the lungs with prana, hold the breath for five seconds. Exhale, bring the hands down to the knees, palms facing. Let's take a few more seconds to connect. Very nice. Now let's get into the final relaxation, Shivasana. However, let's get on the back. Fully elongate yourself on the mat. Extend your, yourself fully on the mat. Final relaxation is very important. It's good to do it for at least 15 minutes. However, I'm, I'm going to do it a less, less um, shorter because of technical reasons. So bring the hands to the side, palms facing up. Let's relax completely. Very nice to end the Shavasana. Raise the hands up over the head, clean the fingers, lift the knees up towards the chest, wrap the hands around the knees, rock from side to side, and the spine. Flex the ankles a little, forward, backward. Very good. Now let's turn over one side. And slowly raise yourself up to the seated position. Thank you very much for joining me in this Rasta Kundalini Yoga. It was an honor and a pleasure for me. Namaste.